Honestly, I think calling this guy a genius is an understatement. I mean, the guy's on a whole new level. The abilities of this guy genuinely terrify me. Wait, Boss Krenko, who the f is this? Man? How? I told you to stop accepting friend requests from these noobs. <sighs> no, we can't use the clip. Come on. How did that go? Was that okay? Was that okay? I don't know. Hopefully that wasn't too um, too choppy. Um, why next with the sideboard? Uh, so expert's really good in a lot of matchups, but you don't always want four. Like when we were playing mono red goblins before, we would have three gem palms and like two crater makers in the main deck, which I think is plenty. So I just don't. I think four is quite a lot, really. So and it's and yesterday we didn't have any trouble with three. So we've got a fourth one in the sideboard. Uh, just so that against like Delver or like Death and Taxes, we've got another one we can bring in basically. So it's just it's just for the creature based matchups where we really need more removal. To be honest, that's all it's really for. Because uh, we've got a bunch of stuff for combo, and then we've got Munitions Expert, Trash Master for like Death and Taxes and stuff, a couple of needles. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, awesome. Okay, well, let's let's crack on, I guess, uh, with our league. I need to get my head in the game for this. I'm a bit distracted. I spent all morning pissing around trying to write. Uh, like I've, I'd like to try and have clips prepared for um, uh, fun, um, fun events on stream. Like those of you, this is what we want, isn't it? Let's just double check everything. Uh, that's all fine. We're going to play the same deck as we played yesterday. I am considering maybe cutting one war chief to go to two war chiefs, one chief, and cutting a war chief to put an earwig squad in the main deck as well, but. Don't know if that's necessary, really, but it's pretty cool having this effect in the main deck. And since we're red-black, we might be able to just do that. So that's something we're going to think about today. Uh, so let's play pay with 100 play points uh, like a boss. Sweet. Okay, hopefully hopefully this isn't too laggy today. There's not much we can do. Oh, Aston, I can't... Yes, yeah, so cool, Aston. I can't believe you got the Bog Boys emote. Bog Boys! Bungling my Roto picks. My Roto picks are great. Everyone else is so slow. I'm always ready to Roto. You guys are unbelievably slow. <laughs> um, no, I spent all morning pissing around. So uh, when we had when we got to 69 followers, we had a little clip for that, which was pretty good. Um, I've had some other random little clips too that have been fun for specific occasions. Um, and since we've not 5-0'd on stream yet, I've been like trying to do one for that, I guess. And I thought I'd like... I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, just been mucking around... Trying to trying to do some music for that. Um, yeah, this seems good. It's not like this isn't like the most amazing hand, but we've got a vial, which is basically a keep, and we've got a lot of pressure here with pile driver into two war chiefs, and we've also got a wasteland. So uh, we are just going to waste this because otherwise we're probably going to get browned. Um, not even a hesitation here. Like the vial is obviously important, but that's an ancient tomb, and they've already played a um, mimic. So hopefully. They were planning to go, um, let's use the hotkeys today and try not to time out. Yeah, the turn three kill, which we don't want. So yeah, oh right, temple's not the worst. So I was hoping they might just have like um, Eye of Ugin as their second land drop and then we'd be able to get him, but this is fine. So we'll probably still get Thought Not Seed this turn. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, all right. So we will get... The Mimic makes me think this is the aggro build, which probably does play Wasteland. I doubt they're playing Mimic in post. So we're going to just get a basic mountain, play this file, and hope to the sweet lord above that we can survive a couple of turns. So now we've drawn the War Marshal, this is pretty good. So this means we can play the War Marshal next turn and chump something, which is pretty sweet. Cavern as well. Yeah, this smells like uh, just like standard Legacy Eldrazi. Um, it's going to be a matter reshaper. Might be an endless one. It's an endless one. Okay. Yep. So we might be able to catch up with this. So crater maker, two crater makers. The main deck has actually just felt pretty good still. 
uh, even with the munitions expert. Although it's worth noting, if we just had a munition, munitions expert uh, this turn, we could actually just kill the Mimic and then chump the Ember Swan, which would be pretty nice. Um, Lackey wouldn't be too bad here either, to be fair. Alright, so we're just going to get... I think we'll get a basic Swamp, to be honest. I don't want to get Wastelanded, but we do have... We do want to make sure we're casting our Experts. And um, the the War Chiefs we can uh, Vile in. So, and we can always leave the Vile on 3 for a couple of turns since we've got quite a few 3 drops, so... I think this is fine. And we've got another war we've got another war marshal as well. So we shouldn't be dying just yet. Uh yeah, pray to Auntie War. That's a good that's a good turn of phrase. Here comes the thought not here, I imagine. Um which doesn't really matter. So that'll just take the matron, I would have thought. Because the matron can get our crater maker, which is like super important. To be honest, there is an argument that we could get a the problem is I'd like to play with um Goblin Settler. That's a very fun card. That's a uh, four mana, three and a red, one one. When it enters the battlefield, destroy target land. But that's only really good if you're playing Kiki Jiki, and Kiki Jiki is a five drop, and can be a bit awkward. So it's not the best. So Mogul Marshal is fantastic for chumping duties because this dies, you get another token. So you basically just get a free chump, which is pretty sweet. So we're just going to chump with both of these. Not interested in taking a ton of damage. We've got another one to follow up, uh, and hopefully we can try and find a crater maker. Yeah, three, three and a red, one, one. Oh, how how far goblins have come! Good lord. And we got a we got a pile driver as well. So I don't think we can kill them on the crackback. That's a pretty good draw, actually. Um, that is a pretty good draw. So let's get another mountain. So we will play this war chief out. Is there a chance we can kill them on the crackback? Possibly. We're getting close. We are getting close. We're not going to attack with either of those. We're going to violin this Mogwar Marshal to block. Uh, but this is going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Maybe we're getting really close. We need like another what Mogwar Marshal would be so good. Uh, that means we're probably not going to be able to attack in the crackback. So we're going to have to violin this Mogwar Marshal, I think. I don't want to chump with the pile driver, but they're definitely just going to take the pile driver. Maybe we do put the pile driver in, but they just hold a thing back, so it doesn't really do anything. Uh, let's just put the the war marshal in. Um, the pile the pile driver if they see like if they see this they can take it or they can just um, I mean this is the one I assume they take now, but even if they don't take it, uh, they can just leave a guy back not to to make sure they block I guess so. Yeah, I don't know. See how this goes. But this is a pretty this is a pretty good start out of them. Not too many lands and just a bunch of thought knots here, which kind of suck nuts. Do we want to start trading things off? Uh, maybe. So I might trade here just to get this off the board because it's only a one. This is only a one for one here, and then I can chump this and chump this. I think that's okay. We could probably take four as well, to be honest. Uh, we might just do this. I could trade. A th I could kill a thought knots here as well. That might just be better. Then that's a that's not really a two for one. So I could I could also just do this. Maybe I should just do this. This is a two for this is a two for two because we kill this and get a card back, and then we take seven. So I should probably do this. Problem is I really don't want to. If I take seven, I go to five. Yeah, if I'm going to trade, it might as well be the TKS, I agree. And then we've got another War Chief we can block. So we've got two more blockers. So that would mean they'd have three, seven, eight. I mean, if we could block this. Okay, I think this is okay. Basically, if we don't draw any goblins, we're dead. And this maximizes our chance of drawing goblins. And I'd like to hold this here for the time being in case you draw like a crater maker or something. I think this is okay. If they have a warping whale, so be it. There's nothing we can do about that. Or a. I guess no, none of them really play the. Um, I forget what it's called. The other one. And this isn't even really a two for two. This is like a one and a half for two. Because we got these off of one card. So. Alright. That wasn't really what we wanted. But at least it's something we can put into play to block with. Uh, we'll tick this up. Yeah. Dismember. That's a good shout. They could have Dismember. Okay. I mean. That does stuff. The problem is... Oh, I didn't need to do that now. I could have done that. Never mind. I didn't need to do that now. I could have waited. 
That was silly. I meant I should have saved that till mid combat. Um, I think I'm just going to play this out. To be honest, that's fine. So hopefully they just don't. Hopefully that we can they can just brick off for one turn. I'm sure this is going to be a reality smash and we'll just be dead. Uh, but if they can brick off for one turn, maybe. Okay, now one. It doesn't activate. This doesn't activate. For, I don't think this. Oh great. I don't think. Yeah. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. They can't activate this yet. Man, when they just draw three Thornot Seers, it's so fun. This deck is so miserable. <laughs> it's not even necessarily that good. It's just not fun to play against. I don't know. I guess it's just some people probably enjoy it a lot, but for me, it's just like I don't know. This like isn't that fun. <laughs> Oh, this sucks. I was really hoping we might be able to trade this, but I guess we wouldn't have attacked with it. Um, I guess we're just on blocking duty. So we're just going to do this this turn. I guess we could also do the same thing we did last time and trade for Thought Not Seer. Yeah, I guess it's not going to get any better for us. So do we trade two... Do we trade two War Chiefs for a Thought Not Seer? And then we can chump the other two? Yeah, Eldrazi is silly. We could just do this. I think we're at the point where we really need to be... We need to get pretty lucky with what we draw. So I think I I think I need to just like do this, and then we could draw a ringleader into stuff. We could draw a ringleader next turn. I don't really want the war chiefs are like how we could get back into it, but this means we get to draw another card. I think I'm just going to do this. I think we're kind of priced into it, and I don't want to go below five yet. And then if they could just brick off for one turn and not have another uh, thought not here, that'd be gas. Okay, that <laughs> that might be good games. We kind of needed to hit runner runner to be honest. We will take this up. This is probably all she wrote. Yeah, all right. Pack it in. Pack it in. How's it going, Pete? Yeah, ringleader might still do it. Ringleader might still do it, but unfortunately we hit fetch fetch. So, okay, moons can come in. Uh, two needles can come in. Uh, Trash master can come in. Eric squad, we'll see if we have room. The munitions experts seem better in this matchup because they can kill a, a mimic with the trigger on the stack. Um, a lot of this seems good. So we can cut... I think the chain whirler... The chain whirler also kills a mimic, so I kind of want to keep that. Maybe we cut, like, one expert. Uh, we could cut one ringleader because we're gonna. Be, it's going to be quite aggressive. The Pashlik Mons might be okay. We could probably cut a war chief. Uh, we could probably cut Sling Gang's probably not going to be as good it does enable us a, a possible quick kill but we can always tutor one up we don't want to have one in our opener I don't think Krenko is also a nice possible wing con do we want so Needle's basically going to go on Walking Ballista first and then it will probably go on uh, Ayabugan do we want both needles though, I guess? Yeah, we're not gonna cut Krenko, I don't think. Krenko's like all Krenko's really important, I think, because it's always an out to you can just win with War Chief and Krenko sometimes. Uh one more cut. Do we need both needles? Probably. Maybe not. Maybe we I don't know. That's hard. Oh we could uh Sting's good is pretty good. But pretty much everything they have has haste, but I don't really like cutting this against Eldrazi because you can just like bounce an Endbringer and win the game. Yeah, we probably only need one needle in this one. Well, like Endbringer and Ballista. Endbringer and Ballista are like the main ones, and then like Ayavugan, which we do have Wastelands for. I could probably just cut a second Ringleader. We're not going to be grinding that much, because they just like slam fatties off the top. That's probably okay. Let's try this. Like, Needle's pretty good. Ballista sucks. Like, the problem with Ballista is. Uh, the, the reason why Ballista is good against Needle is that you have to needle it after it's come down a lot of the time. Or, sorry, not Needle against like Artifact Removal. It's already entered the battlefield. So it already kills a bunch of your poor boys. Whereas Needle's a bit more proactive. I uh, don't know about this. This is pretty rough. 3-4 uh, drops. The port's nice, but I think this is a mull. This is just too slow. We just get ranched. Wow. <laughs> what am I gonna do? This isn't gonna be a good start, I don't think. At least it's not my fault necessarily. Um, let's mull this. Okay, we're on this plan. Uh, that's that could get us. Oh well, we, it doesn't matter because we're gonna have to fetch it away. Okay then, so let's go for basic mountain. 
because we can vial in the munitions expert and hopefully this gets there this is a pretty it's a pretty rough one i will be amazed the problem with, and the thing is they kept seven like eldrazi punishes moles so much it really really does oh, i wish we had the <clears throat> london mulligan so bad to be fair it wouldn't have helped the last hand anyway because it was a six it was a six without a land but it would have made the five better so it's pretty rough thing is i don't even know if we i guess a ringleader would be fine i don't even know if we want a ringleader off the top okay this if we draw a black source we can kill the mimic which would be sweet so please please can we draw a black source come on give us a black source god damn it uh well i guess at least we kept the matron that's okay uh, so we'll cast her the vial, but we can kill this with a munitions expert in a couple of turns. I guess it's not the end of the world. So we can vial in the lackey on their end step. If they play a thought not seer, I guess they get to take the munitions expert, but I would have thought they'd take the matron. Um, oh, it's just going to be mono thought not seers again. Yeah, this is so fun. <laughs> Man, this deck's miserable. Um, sure. So we'll vial in the lackey. Um, I assume they take the matron. And then we can munitions expert the mimic next turn in response to the trigger from whatever they cast. Because this is this will deal one on its own. Yeah, so they're just going to take that. They probably just got like again three more Thor not seers. Sure thing. We take we take four. That seems perfectly perfectly reasonable. Interesting magic. Um, and let's see if we can draw something good here. So now we kind of need a crater maker for the Thought Knots here, is kind of where we're at. Um, yep, yeah, we'll use both of these. Yeah, maybe. But the problem is, I mean, they're probably going to take the, the other one anyway, I guess. Um, uh, let's just play the Badlands and pass. I think, I think they'd reasonably take the Matron anyway. So I guess maybe I should leave it in my hands, but yeah, I don't know. We we just need them to like whiff, really, which seems unlikely, especially with that. They were, we're just going to die, basically. They kept a seven. We mulled to five. Um, yeah, we're just going to die. Oh, hang on. Let's make sure we do this in time. Uh, I guess I may as well do it this way. It doesn't really matter. So we'll kill this. And we will block with the expert because the endbringer is going to be able to kill everything next turn anyway. So we need a crater maker for this, which we could find off of a. Um, we could hit a matron this turn. We could hit a crater maker. There are a bunch of things we could hit. Could hit a sting scourger. We got a lot of hits. That is not one of them. Uh, I think we'll probably pack it in now. I think this is basically as good as it gets. Like as. There's like they've got a five five and a four four in play. The Embringer can kill the Lackey anyway, um, and they don't even need to hold anything back to block because you flip an Embringer and taps every turn. Um, and we just can't get a board presence from here on out. I like, guess I'm just trying to think how could we win this? I guess we could. Hit, I guess we could ringleader. I guess we could ringleader. Let's play the Cavern out. Um, maybe I shouldn't show them that we've got nothing, but uh, that's fine. I guess I should probably should have held that actually, but whatever. Um, how do we win this? So I guess they're at 14. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. I think we're just going to concede to the GTA. They just have literally everything. Um, like, there's a possibility that if they attack with both of these, we could draw a um, ringleader and hit just like pile driver, a couple of like pile driver, war chiefs, a bunch of other stuff, um, and win that way. But that's a <laughs> that's a pretty that one sucks. <laughs> and like to whoever was asking about goblins in modern earlier, that's basically that match we just played is basically what modern is, and we're not very good against that. Um, so you need to have a pretty you have to be pretty fortunate in your opening hands to beat something like that. To be honest. 
Okay, we would love to play first. That is a lot more reasonable. We'll keep this. So these two together are pretty exciting. That's good. Uh, let us play a basic mountain, play an Aether Vile and pass. Hopefully this doesn't get forced. I guess we've got caverns, so that's all good. Could be the mirror. Okay, it is the mirror. <laughs> Called it. Called it even before. Nice. Well, we've got this bad boy, so... Nice uh, lackey. What we're going to do... Um... Oh, that's interesting. Maybe we have to do this now. So... I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna munitions expert them now, because um, if I let them untap and play a land, they could have a munitions expert of their own, and then we could munitions expert their goblin lackey in combat, and they can shoot ours, and then if there's no more goblins on the battlefield on our side, it doesn't do any more damage. So we kind of have to just do it now, because um, I want to kill this. And I could also play the pile driver and block, but they can also kill it with their munitions expert because they'd have this plus the expert. So we're just going to do this. Um, we're just going to do it now and just get rid of it. Because we do not want to take a hit from that. Okay, so they have a port. That's fine. Chalice. Okay, that seems pretty bad. <laughs> Since we have two of these bad boys. I have seen a chalice list before. I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't play. Ch I'm not a big fan of chalice in the main deck, but I am by no means the best goblin player of all time, so that's fine. Um, all right. Well, we're just going to start trucking on in now. I think um, this is going to be a pretty good turn, to be honest. See, I just think you should. I think you should be porting there rather than playing a chalice out. But since we've got two caverns, um, so let's play this war chief, buy in the pile driver, and then we should be able to close this game out pretty quick. And next turn, we'll be able to. Um, Krenko as well. Ooh, Krenko with the pile driver too. So we'll get a good hit in here. But I feel like this one's going to be over pretty soon unless they've got something pretty good. But Goblins doesn't always do very well at catching up from board states like this. Especially early in the game. Like late game, they can, you can draw Ringleader into a bunch of stuff. But at this stage... Because like, look at... Like even Chain Whirler wouldn't do it here. And they can't cast that yet anyway, so... Alright, yeah. So I think they've just conceded. That was a pretty good start for us. Um, maybe they just got stuck on lands as well, but like no vile especially makes that pretty difficult. Okay, the boy's mirror. This is going to be brutal. Um, so munitions expert, goblin trash master, um, pyrokinesis. Pyrokinesis is pretty min. Um, well, that's pretty interesting. So one, one, another sort of positive from this compared to the gem palm is that this is an ETB effect. So say if someone had like a pithing needle, previously you could like needle the gem palm to stop the cycling ability. Uh, but you can't do that with the munitions experts. So that's kind of interesting to know about. Say if there's like a revoker or something. Um, what do we want to cut? So let's have a look. The crater makers are good because they get rid of vials and they get. I guess this thing's good. It's pretty bad. Um, our boy on boy action is never good. Brr. What do we want to cut? Not a lot, really. I cut like one ringleader. I, I have a feeling this is this is going to be pretty. Like what will probably happen is someone will snowball and get an advantage compared to the other one. Um, so ringleader is good, but I think three is fine. Maybe I don't need this. Maybe I don't need another trash master. I'm just thinking the pump effect on this is quite good. But I got a chieftain, so maybe I don't need the second trash master. They've only got four vials, and we've got another trash master, two crater makers for that. Uh, Um, the opponent's just asking about how good Munitions Expert is, so I assume they're on Mono Red, which seems really good for us, because I think we're just going to be better. I guess the mana's going to be a little bit rougher, but we've got the fact that we've got Munitions Expert and Sling Gang means we should be favoured if we don't screw this up. Uh, yeah, you can do. I mean, so the mana base, the number of red sources is exactly the same as when I played Mono Red. It's exactly the same number of red sources. Um, the swamp takes up another colourless land slot, so it's as, it's as difficult to cast as it ever was. Uh, right, one more cut. I think I will cut uh, probably just a war chief, um, to be honest for now. I think that's reasonable. Like, shave two of the things you've got loads of. I guess lackey on the draw is a possibility, 
Actually, that's a good idea. Maybe I should just cut these on the drawer and bring this in. That's probably better. Um, yeah, so uh, in Mono Red Goblins, replace the Swamp and the Volrath Stronghold with two more Rashardon ports, and you can replace all the fetches with basic mountains. That's basically the set. That's the exact same mana base. Um, so yeah, we can still. It's still hard to cast Chain Whirler sometimes, but we can definitely still do it. Uh, which is one of the reasons why there's only two ports. Um, all right, we'll keep this. This is good. This is a really good hand, actually. So we've got a, this is going to be done in the mirror. Uh, we've got a matron to find stuff. We've got a ringleader. Uh, so we can find a chain whirler with this. And we've also got two basic lands. So we can get a basic... Um, Wasteland's also kind of annoying against our deck as well. So we can get a basic mountain, play the vial, we'll get a basic swamp, and then we're all pretty much set up to go. So um, And they've mulled to four, unfortunately. So this is... Brr maybe going to be washed that said if they okay they mulled to three they're going to keep a three that seems pretty bad so maybe they just hit maybe they just like hit nothing the thing is if they get a lackey in play this is pretty slow so lackey okay i was going to say if they got a lackey then they could definitely still win um but i think without the lackey it's going to be unlikely unfortunately for them and we do the chain water as well so that's pretty rough um i'm gonna i think not cast this i'm not gonna i'm not gonna fetch to cast this because i want to get i guess i could just get mountains for now uh, let's get let's just get a mountain with this for the beginning to begin with anyway, and we can make our mind up later. Um, play the vial. Yeah, them going to three. I mean, yeah, they need. They literally just need to draw like a lackey. Okay, they got a vial, so they've got nothing in hand pretty much. Um, so this is not really how you want to win matches of magic. It's not that it's not that nice, especially against a fellow boys player as well. That kind of sucks. Um, so we're just going to play the second vial out and pass the turn, I think. I mean, I guess they've got a chance. They've got a vial and two mountains, so, you know, if they draw goblins at some point, maybe. We st we are still going to have to think about this to make sure we don't toss this in the garbage, but I feel like we should be pretty good. Uh, so we can wasteland this, I think. Since we've got two vials, we don't. We're too, drawing a two-drop this turn would be really nice. Okay, cavern's pretty good. So now we're just going to cavern. Uh, now I think we can get a basic swamp because we've got our second red source. Oh no, we don't need to. We can get a basic mountain now. We can cast everything. No, we'll do this. We will do this. We'll just get a mountain. This can be our black source if we need it. It won't activate Valrath Stronghold, but we're not going to be doing that anytime soon. And I think for now we're just going to Matron for a Munitions Expert. I think that's probably fine. Uh, like we could... I want to keep the Pashalik Mons to vial that in. We could get a War Chief as well, but I think if we get a Munitions Expert... Uh, we're going to be in a pretty good spot just to cut. Like, if they play a lackey or something now, we can get rid of it. I think this is important to have in our hand. Um, we also maybe could have just got a pile driver and just file that in. Yeah, okay. That sucks. That's not one to celebrate. Okay, all right. So let's carry on. Um, rip, rip, boys, mirror. This is <laughs> this is going to be a really quick league. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I guess if I guess if the matches are that quick, we might have time for another one. We'll see how it goes. Welcome everybody that's hanging around. Hopefully you all enjoy yourselves. It's not been the most interesting league so far, I guess. We got ranched by Eldrazi and then um, beat the boys. I did not cut Crater Maker. I could have got a Crater Maker for the Vile. That's a good point, actually. I could have got, I could have got a Crater Maker for the Vile. That might have been better. Um, okay, we're on the play, which is good. So this one... I think I'm going to mull this because we don't, really we want to have a vial. We need, really want a one drop. We really, really want a one drop. The mana's good, but if this was like, if one of these, if one of these was, if we had, if we had like this plus, say, a matron, 
I think I'd keep it. Um, but I think this is too slow, really. Like, if we're against combo, we just die. If it's reanimator, I guess we might have a chance. Reanimator, we probably just die anyway. If it's like Marat Lage, we could have a chance. I think I'm going to mole this. This is too slow. Uh, the Fantastic Mole to six, no lander. Oh dear. Still think it's worth a mole there. Um, they might mole too. Hopefully they do, and then it's not as bad. But we're going to have to go to five. There's no way we can keep this. Like, you could try and keep and look for a land, but we're on the play. If we were on the draw, this might be a keep, look for a land, but I think we're going to mull this. I mean, we're definitely going to mull this. Um, okay, we'll keep this. So we got Vile Land. We can put this on top. Uh, we're going to have to shuffle that away, though. I guess we could keep... I guess we could wait a turn. I don't think that's very good, though. I think we're just going to shuffle and play the Vile. We really need to play this Vile. Yeah, bad boys beat good boys, unfortunately. Alright, see how this goes. Huh, it's been a weird league so far. That's been a weird... Okay, is this going to be rug? No, maybe not. Bant, probably, then? Bant... If this is Bant Blade, this is going to be pretty rough. The rug the rug Delver list with Ren and Six looks really sweet. I think we'll probably stream that next week as well as some more red, uh, bad boys. Um... Okay, nice. That's pretty good. So now I'm going to... Am I going to... Yeah, I'm going to port them. Because I don't... The second Vile is kind of anemic. And I'd like to stop them casting a true name next turn. Oh, it could be Infect. That's a good shout, Pete. Could be Infect. But I think this is worth doing. In case it is... It's probably Infect, actually. Yeah, that's a good point. But in case it's... um, Because I guess it got the new card. Okay, it's definitely Infect. All right. Oh, it's the same player. Fair enough. Okay. So port's actually quite good against Infect because you can port the Ink Moth Nexus, which is pretty hot. So we're going to do that. Um, second Vile would have been nice, though, actually, so I kind of regret not doing that. Yeah, if I'd known it was Infect, I probably would have played the second Vile out. Um, okay, that makes it fine. So we get Goblin. I think we're going to cast a second Vile here. And we don't need to matron for anything yet, but we're going to port the Ink Moth Nexus um, in their upkeep. So they can't kill us with that. And then we'll have matron for Chain Whirler next turn, which should basically put the game out of reach. Um, in theory, anyway. Yeah, ports. Port secretly. I guess it's not secretly. Port is very good against Infect, so. Wasteland would be even better. Pendlehaven, yep. So this looks like their only Infect thing at the moment, which is fine for us. So we can't Matron. If we draw a land, that'd be pretty good, actually. If we if we draw a land, we can um, Matron for a Munitions Expert and cast it with the port, which would be nice. Okay, right on time. We're not gonna ring lead. We're not gonna ring leader. Um, we're just gonna ease it up here. Port uh, this again. Okay, so they can activate and do a bunch of stuff. Okay, so now what we're gonna do. Is get this Golden Matron into play. Get a Munitions Expert and kill the Ink Moth Nexus before this resolves. And we can do that uncounterably. So we should be all good here, I think. They haven't got any more mana up. Um, and this looks like the only thing they've got going on. So we should be okay here. Hopefully we're not lagging too much. Um in chat. Hopefully we're not dropping too many frames. Oh, wow, they have the Invigorate. Okay, I sort of forgot about that. Yeah, alright. We might just be dead then. Not quite. Well, we can kill this at least. This means they don't get plus four, plus four. Did they? Did they? Ooh, are we dead? 
Nine nine. Okay, we're not quite dead because um, we killed the noble hierarch. So we're going to take nine infect, and then we can still port this next turn. So we're kind of just okay. Maybe. That's pretty close. Whew. Okay, right. Uh, we will take this up. We will take this up. Oh, I had to get the Sting Scourger. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, that was probably safer. Yeah, I guess that would have been better, actually. So we got pretty lucky there. Okay, that's not really what we were looking for. Um, that would have been nice to have. So now we are not. So as long as they don't have another, give this hex proof. We sh we might be okay if we if they do, then we're dead. So let's play this out. Let's play one of these out. I think we can attack with everything. Yeah, quite possibly. Quite possibly. It's entirely possible I didn't take the right line there. I completely agree with that. Um, so let's do this now uh, before they can draw anything else. Sweet. Okay, so we get another turn. We could really do with drawing a wasteland and or... Okay, so they might just be on lands now, which is good. Okay, so this one, yes. This one, always no. That's a good draw. So let's waste it now. I guess we'll just get in first. Alright, I'm just going to waste it now. So they have to use something to... Um, Sweet. Nice. Alright, we squeaked it out. We squeaked it out. Opponent may not have played that optimally. I probably didn't play that optimally either, but... We got there. We got there. This is kind of a tough matchup, but it's okay. So now we can bring in the other munitions expert. Bring in the pyrokinesis. Um, we don't need these. Blood Moon's pretty good against them because it turns off all their creature lands. And Needle is possible, but I don't think we need it. Oh, maybe Aston. That makes sense. Oh, crop rotation. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't played against Infect in a little while. so. And the problem when I'm streaming, because I stream on a laptop, I can't see the chat window unless I switch windows. So I can't see it whilst I'm doing game action. So that's a, a slight problem. Okay, so Sling Gang. I think we can definitely cut one of these. Because this doesn't kill... This doesn't help us in the race. Chain Whirl is good. Um, we probably... I mean, we definitely don't need the... Like, we can cut at least two of these. Maybe three... Everything else is pretty good. Sting Scourge is good. Matron is good. Mons is very good. Uh, War Chief. We could probably cut a War Chief, maybe. Krenko is like a nice win condition, potentially. So I think that's okay. Thorn might be okay. I just don't want to bring in too many non goblins, I guess. I suppose we're cutting most of the ringleader, so maybe Thorn's okay. You prefer Thorn over Blood Moon? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. All right, well, we could try that. We could try. We can definitely try that. I can definitely see the merit in that. Okay, we'll try this then. Thorn's pretty awkward with our pyrokinesis, though. I don't normally bring Thorn and pyrokinesis in the same matchup. Is one thing I would say, though. I guess we can play around that. We'll give it a go. Let's let's give it a go and see how it works out. Yeah. And then, like, Trash Master's good because it kills the um, Ink Moth and so forth. All right, this is a good hand. This is a very good hand, actually. The Volrath's kind of medium, but um, we've got a Matron. We've got a, we've got a Munitions Expert. We could do with... Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Um, 
We could do the Wasteland or a port. That would be ideal. So they could just daze the Vile, which would be annoying. But I think we're just going to play it anyway. That's a good draw. Um, so let's get a basic mountain. Do they play Wasteland? I don't know if they do. I've played uh, some. I have played against the Infect with Wasteland before. Uh, I guess we're exposed to Wasteland either way we cut it. So we may as well just get a Badlands. I'm just going to play this file. So this will probably get dazed. Yeah, but we've already got two lands that can get... We've already got like a Badlands in hand. So I think getting a second Badlands is probably just fine. Okay, that's fine. So maybe they've got all the pump, no creature. That would be good for us. Uh, or, yeah, that's probably what they've got, I imagine. This card is kind of dumb, so that's really good. Uh, we'll keep the ringleader with the pyrokinesis for the time being. Um... Oh, that makes sense, yeah. I always forget they play crop rotation. Yeah, possibly. That's a, that's definitely a good. That's definitely something to consider, Aston. I think, but especially considering um, next turn the Vile goes to one, we can run the Expert out. Turn three, this will be on two, and we can play the Matron for another Expert. So I think so. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. We'll just save it then. We we can just save it. Speaking of which. So, we will get dazed here. Uh, be nice to draw a cavern. We. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> All right. <laughs> Why, hello there. So they can still in they can still invigorate this, but we do have a pyrokinesis as well. So we do this main phase. They probably have... Okay, they don't have an Invigorate Knight. So we've still got the Pyrokinesis to back it up. We've got a Matron in hand. So we can get another one of these bad boys. Should name Expert with Cavern. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty... Okay, Library's, library's pretty good. It's pretty scary. Yeah, we do have. Yeah, that's true. We do have stronghold for infinite experts. That's kind of funny. This card has been consistently impressive. Um, it's a shame we've got the the Sharpied version though. Yesterday we got given the OG one, which was nice. Just wanna just wanna like see what they do. <laughs> okay, sweet. Um, All right, okay. They're going to force a video. What do they pitch? Berserk. Um, yeah, is that is that worth it for the vials? Maybe, I suppose. Um, that's not a problem, I don't think. Um, nothing we can do about that. I'm happy to take the two for one, in all honesty. Um, that's a good draw. Yeah, we could just kill them very quickly now. Um, so what could we do here? What could we do here? Um... So they can't kill us next turn, which means we can untap and kill them potentially. How could we do that? We've also got a Pyrokinesis, so I feel pretty good there. So let's play this Badlands out. Um, I think I might Matron for a Warchief. I don't have Sharpshooter, no. I've only got Chain Whirler. Sharpshooter would be good. It, it, like, Sharpshooter is definitely better than Chain Whirler in some spots, for sure. But it's also just worse in most spots. Unless they have Crop. Oh, that's true, they could have crop rotation. But we've got a pyrokinesis for crop rotation, so I think that's okay. Uh, so we could matron for a war chief so we can Krenko, but maybe that's a little bit aggressive. Maybe we should just get, like, another munitions expert or something to play it safe. I don't know. I want to play this next turn, really. Um, I don't think they kill us next turn. Yeah, I agree. They need to get... I don't see how they do it if we've got the pyrokinesis. Yeah, we could just make them for Chain Whirler. That's also true. That's also a pretty quick clock. Um, so let's do that. Actually, let's attack first. 
which I assume doesn't really matter, but we may as well. Um, yeah, I can see I can see Matron for Train Whirler. Because Chain Whirler's nice just because we've already got this with the Volrath Stronghold. But Chain Whirler's nice because it just means that um, it's also a big a big clock. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It does open us up to Wasteland. Um, but we've still got the Pyrokinesis, I guess. Is there anything better to get? I don't think so. I mean, if we do get the War Chief, they basically just die. We could also get the Chieftain. Maybe we should just get... Yeah, let's just get the Chain Mine and play it safe. Um, if they're getting a Wasteland, that seems good for us, really. So, Okay, so they do have the Crop Rotation. That's fine. So what I guess they can just take a bunch of damage here. So we could we could die. We could definitely die. Um Okay, they do have the wasteland for the chain whirler, that's pretty annoying. Um But they can't okay, they can't kill us this turn through the pyrokinesis. Because they'd need to have two pump spells and a daze. So this is fine. So we're just going to take our beats here. No, re no reason to do anything. And then on their end step, we'll try and pyrokinesis both of them, I think. So now I think we're just going to go kinesis, pitch the Krenko. In their end step. That's fine. And we'll exile their sky. Sweet, okay. Da -da -da dumpster! Alright, that was pretty good. Um, so now we can do this. Get in for two. There's nothing to get back in the yard, and we'll just play um, we'll just play the Mogwall Marshal. Oh, hang on! I tapped the wrong color banner. Yeah, that's probably that's probably good games. Um, weird, weird that they brainstormed that now. That they're, they're brainstorming now, I guess. That's weird. Wouldn't you do that in response to the pyrokinesis? Maybe they'd F6, I don't know. I think they F6 actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can't kill them next turn. If we draw a red mana source, we're in good shape for this. Um they know we've got it in hand. So they could have like they could have another crop rotation and kill us, potentially. They need crop rotation plus two pump spells, but that is a possibility. Uh I'm not going to pay for this because I could always get it back. There's no, it doesn't increase the clock in any way. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they don't need, they don't need, yeah, but okay, that's fine. We're not going to pay for this. There's no need. Um, it's pretty good. Um, so they're going to attack, but they're going to hold this. So they're dead next turn with what we've got on board. So I don't think there's any reason to cast the Ringleader. So I think the Wasteland's pretty good because they do have another Nexus. If they do have another Crop Rotation, um, then we can Wasteland them. And if they don't do anything, we can just put, I don't know, like the Mog Mog Mog. Mog blah. We can put like the War Marshal on top or something. I think this is fine. Sweet. Okay, so they must have another crop rotation. Nice. Oh, yeah. 
that was pretty good. That was, that was pretty sweet. <laughs> Alright, well thanks everyone that's hanging around. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. I think actually, even if this is a quick league, I'll probably have to call it after this one's finished either way around though. Yeah, he probably didn't play that well, but then again, I mean, I never play that well either, so it's fine. But um, yeah, I think I probably will have to call it after this either way around, so I've got a lot of stuff to do this afternoon. So we just need to get one more win. <laughs> See if we can make up for our travesty yesterday. I don't think we've misplayed too badly today so far, which is good. Okay, this is a nice hand, so we'll keep this, and um, like port, port will help us bridge the mid turns. So we just get a basic mountain, uh, and hopefully we don't get dazed or force a world on the port on the Vale of Isle, Even that'd be nice. Island Ponder. Okay, so could well be show and tell. We do have a ringleader to put into play to try and find a sting scourger. Crash Caesar. Oh, I've played against him so many times. I can't remember. I think he's show and tell. He could also be control. I have a feeling he's show and tell. Uh, let's get a mountain, get a vial. I have played against this person a number of times. Um, okay, that's that's good for us. Spell pierce. Okay, could be Delver as well. Could just be Delver. Um, if it's Delver, we've got a second vial, which is fine. Um, Okay, so still kind of think it might be um, show and tell. Uh, so we'll go port and we'll play this file out. This is better than porting them this turn, I think. Um, second pierce. Well, I'm not going to play around that. That's pretty annoying that they got value out of those, I guess. Um... Maybe I should have waited a turn. Maybe I should have waited a turn. That's like not very good mana efficiency. And the and if it's like show and tell, the vial doesn't matter that much. So I probably should have waited a turn to be honest. Ported him in his upkeep and then played the vial on the following turn. Don't know. Don't know. I don't know. I. <sighs> I don't know. I'm not um, super worried about bluffing lands, honestly. Okay, so quite possibly Delver then. Um, I'd rather make sure my mana's just solid. I know I could like sequence a port first, but I really don't want to get wasted off a, a land on the first turn. Okay, so that's gonna suck. So now I really regret the sequencing that we've we've made. I should have. I think I should have ported and then vialed the following turn, because then that avoids something like this happening. Uh, so this is going to be tough to catch up from. Um, at least I suppose I can wasteland their red source. Um, we might be able to catch up. We do have a pile driver. Um, I don't want to get wasted by him very much, but I think I just want to wasteland his red source and just get it out of there. Um, and then he can waste my port and that's fine. And then we can just play a pile driver next turn. Yeah, that's not the end of the world. So if it's if uh, he's got another land. So he's not got much in hand. So as long as we draw as long as we if we can draw some lands, that'd be good. Um I think I still think waste landing's okay. I don't want to get another true name coming down. Um But we do have a pile driver, so we can race. We just need to get going. Okay, fantastic. So let's play a pile driver off for a mountain. Uh, then we can play the War Chief and get in next turn and go from there. Oh, maybe I could play around days. Yeah, now we're gonna get dazed. God damn it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I should have played around days. I'm so stupid. At least I get to play the new clip. Congratulations, you played yourself. Congratulations, you played yourself. Yeah, I should have. I should have played around days. You're absolutely right, Pete. And then ported them. This is not going very well. Ugh. Especially since I had the vial. And the pile driver can catch up so quickly. 
Um, and now I still have to kind of play into a daze here because, um, like, I've not got anything to do on two. So, like, another... If we could draw, like, another power driver, that'd be nice. Uh, wasteland is not really what we want. So, we'll play the port. I'm not going to play into daze again. Um, yeah, that was super greedy. No, you're right. I'm just going to port him in his upkeep, and then we can War Chief and Ringleader this coming turn, and then we still might be able to race. So, we'll do this. And if they get a red source to cast a spell this turn, we can wasteland it. Uh, and if they don't, we can War Chief off the vial and then Ringleader through a daze with the Wasteland in play. So we can still race this, but we'd be in a much better spot if I hadn't been a complete boob. Uh, which is a surprise probably for regular viewers of this of this stream. Okay, so we can Wasteland that. Hopefully they don't find another land in something, but that's going to get wasted, I think. Good, that's a good draw. Um, I am gonna. So if this, uh, this is a tricky situation now. So we're dead in three turns as it stands currently. The ringleader is pretty important. So he could daze the ringleader. Um, but they, yeah, so but I don't yeah I think I don't want him to daze I don't want him to daze the and return the volcanic, so I think I want to bolt before I think I want to waste before casting the ringleader. Um, so this this could I could still get this dazed, but I don't want him to be able to return this to his hand basically. Um, so we're just going to play into a daze again. Yeah, Wasteland first, exactly. Um, so we could get days. If we get days, we get days. There's not a lot I can do about that. I think we just need to play into it. Yeah, so so be it. This means he's not doing anything next turn. But it means he can't bolt, so that's good. Like, this is the worst scenario. And if we had the pile driver in play, we'd be so much better. But we could still just draw a ringleader this turn and we'd be fine. Um... Please. Or a Sling Gang. Sling Gang would be really good here. That doesn't really do it. Um, we'll play the Badlands out. At least we can kill a Delver. That's good. So we need to draw something this coming turn. I think I'm going to probably flash the Munitions Expert. I think I, So I need to flash the Munitions Expert in regardless of what happens this turn. Um... Because we need to try and hit like a ringleader into power driver and whatnot. So there's a slim chance we could still win this. We probably would have won this if I'd played around with days. Uh... There's a few mistakes for sure. Um, definitely um, the sequencing with the second vial was a mistake. I should have ported to stop this coming down. Then I could have waste landed him. So we're dead now. Yeah, nice. Okay, so we definitely made some mistakes there. I say we. I I made some mistakes there. That was pretty. That was pretty loosey goosey through all of that. Um, okay then. Uh, we could also consider having. Um, what's the word? We could also consider having. Um, the new plague carrier, plague engineer guy on the sideboard. Yeah, tree names suck so much. Um, we could consider having a, a play carry on the sideboard. We can't fetch it up or anything, but it's at least one card we could draw against True Name, which is nice. Sling Gang is good against True Name, though, just because it gains us life in the race. Um, right, so we want to cut the Sting Scourger because they're on blue-red. We can cut a Ringleader, and we can cut... I, I don't know. I don't really play Blasts in goblins i prefer having the moons and the other permanent hate hate stuff so we could probably just cut another ringleader maybe Is Thorn good though? I can't. I'm not sure I'd bring in Thorn against Delver. 
That I don't know. I don't know if I'd, I don't know if I'd bring in Thorn against Delver. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do. It's just what am I cutting to do that though? Everything else is pretty good. I, I might just cut another ringleader to be honest. Um, for what I've got here. What would I cut for Thorn? I guess I could cut a War Chief. But like the thing is, they just like if they play a Delver on one, I play a Thorn on two. That gets dazed. I I I don't know if I bring in Thorn against Delver. I think I, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I've never ever brought Thorn in against Delver. Um, I'm not saying it's could. I'm not necessarily saying it's wrong. I'm just saying for me, I'm not comfortable myself doing that. I think. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and do it with creatures. Okay, this is fine. I think this is a keep because we've got red black. We've got these. I think this is okay. It's not particularly exciting because you don't have a vial, but the lackey's good. So they have to force the lackey. They can't daze the lackey, which feels nice. We've got a pyrokinesis to clean up with like a dread horde arcanist or something. Um, yeah, maybe they don't, but they probably would daze. They probably would daze a thorn. I don't know. I don't know if I want to bring in Thorn against Delver myself. Okay, so that's going to eat a Force of Will. So this is honestly fine. Um, they've had to two for one themselves. So they're now down to four cards. And we've got... We can kill a Delver. Um, so if they play a Delver, we can Munitions Expert it. We've also got this Pyrokinesis we can pitch a Mog War Marshal to if we need to. Okay, fine. So this is working out quite nicely. Um, we could also just play this Vile... We could just play the Vial through the days. We could just play the Vial through the days, and then we can play the Mogwar Marshal and Munitions Expert at later. So let's do that. Let's try not to play into days so much this time. Uh, that's probably fine. That seems better. This will probably blind flip, because that's what Delver does. Um, mine never blind flip, but okay, sweet. That's good for us. Yep, that's pretty good. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna pyrokinesis this now because they need to have exactly force of will. Uh Daze doesn't do it. Um so we can do this. Pitch this uh Mogwar Marshal. I think this is fine to do now. If they have a force, so be it. Wow, they have the second force. I think I'm not gonna play around the second force of will. I really don't think I'm gonna play around the second force of will. Um but at least now we can kill the Delver. And the Dread Horde isn't doing anything yet. So some people don't side out Days and Delve a full stop, to be honest. Against I guess you would against Cavern and um, Vile, but I don't know. Uh, I will also just do this now because it's probably just better to do. They haven't cast a cantrip yet. I don't want this to flip. So I'm going to cast a munition, Munitions Expert now and just kill this. Um... And we're not in the worst spot in the world. And at least the force on the pyrokinesis. That's like forcing a pyrokinesis is like pretty old school. Um, that's magic from a long time ago. Yep. So we take one. They don't get any value out of this. That's fine. So if we draw, if we draw something we can cast or put into play with the vial, then we're in a good spot. So they probably have like a bolt or something. Uh... But now we can block and Munitions Expert this, which is good. That's not necessarily the best thing. Uh, so let's play the Cavern. Put that on Goblin. We will cast um, the Vial. And now we're kind of just at the mercy of top decks. But I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to um, hold this back for the time being. Second Dread Horde, okay. Now we're going to block and Munitions Expert this guy. They're not going to attack into it, that makes sense. That was a good draw. Um, I think we're just going to pass for the time being. 
They, if they cast, the problem is now they can cast the cantrip and they can trigger it with either of them. Uh, but at the end of this turn, we will kill, try and kill one, I think. Um, I think that's fine. I guess we don't need to try and kill one yet. We can just put the lackey into play. And go from there. And then if they go to bolt the lackey, I'll kill one in response. That's probably the best way of doing this. Um, the problem with Thorn as well is it just doesn't do anything. So, um, okay, that was pretty sweet. So let's activate this. See what we get. Right, that was pretty hot. Um, that was pretty hot. Uh, so I don't know what to matron for. I kind of just want to matron for like another one at some point. Um, so let's get in for two. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I suppose I didn't really think about that that much. Um, <laughs> yeah, I forget they can just double block that. Congratulations, <laughs> you played yourself. Uh, that's fine. All right, well, we will just um, do this then. And kill one of them in, in blockers. It's fine. And I think I'm going to hold the matron for now and just, um, I think that's fine. Let's play this out just to spend our mana. I'm going to, I'm going to hold the matron so I can vial for something next turn off of, and look for, look for stuff to do. So I think this is okay. Um, so we need a bolt. So he, I guess he doesn't have a bolt maybe, I don't know. I don't know what he's got in his hand. I assume like days and force of will and stuff, like reactive stuff. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, what's this one for? This one. So we can take this up. Always no. Okay. Let's try and keep up on clock. It's not the worst draw. Um, what do we want to get here? Can we kill them this turn? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can't quite kill them this turn. Could just get a ringleader, I guess. Ringleader's probably fine to get. So we're definitely going to do this. We could getting a munitions expert doesn't really do anything, I suppose. Um. Yeah, I think a ringleader as well is probably the best thing to get. I just want to get some more. I just want to get some value. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have cut three of these. Or two of these. There's like nothing else I really want. Oh, that's not true. I could get. I could guess I could get Pashlik Mons. That's possibly not a bad one. Um, let's get a ringleader. Let's get a ringleader. If I got Pashlik Mons, I could potentially make some goblins, but I don't have a, a way to put them into play yet. So let's just do this. See if we can hit. More like if we hit nothing, we're going to be in trouble. But okay, that's fantastic. That's really good, actually. Um, and a goblin. Let's just kill this guy now. And then just crack him with everybody. We can put the sling gang in, and then we might be at the point where we might just kill them. Sweet. That's pretty good. I think I'm happy with this. Two ringleaders seems fine. This is quite important, I think, still, because it can help us win the game. Uh, it can get pretty grindy. Do I want to cut a sling gang for a ringleader? That's an interesting idea. One ones aren't so one ones aren't so good against Delver anymore because they've got a bunch of dread hordes instead of um 
I guess this helps us catch up though. We kind of need that for true name, I think. I think I'll, I think I'll, I think I'll leave it as it is. I think this is okay. We've still got 31 creatures, which is good. I think the other thing to point out as well about bringing in Thorn against Delver is that we still have a couple of ringleaders and like putting cutting goblins for non-goblins is comes at a really big cost uh, because we really want to make sure we get like two plus really off the ringleader. Um, so that's why like against combo decks it's fine because you don't need ringleader so you can bring in as many hate pieces as you like but against like grindy decks I don't think you want to bring in very many non-goblin cards if you can possibly avoid it. Um, okay this is a rough hand but I think we'll Oh, this is a rough hand. This is a very rough hand. So we can get a basic mountain, play a lackey, which probably gets dazed. We can play a round of days. We can't really play a round of days. I think we just have to play into days with this hand. We can't cast a munitions expert. We can't cast a chain whirler. But if the lackey, if they don't have a way to get rid of this or anything on the first turn, we could be up and running. Like we can just put the chain whirler into play. Um, but I think I have to keep this really. I think if I'm not keeping Lackey on one off of a basic, I don't know what I'm keeping. So I think we'll keep this. It's not, I'm not massively excited about this, but I guess what am I really looking for? I'm going to mull this. We've got removal. This is going to be good against, um, unflipped Delvers. Maybe if they've got a Pyromancer this turn, if they've got a Pyromancer this game instead of a Dread Horde, this will be good. Matron finds the stuff. Pile driver's really good. So let's just see how this goes. We're just going to have to play into days with this hand, unfortunately. But they can only have so many daces in their hand. So um, Waste Down's not really a good draw, but at least it's a third mana source. Um, we will waste them next turn if we get an opportunity, though, I think. Because I don't want to get um, True Named. So let's... I'm just going to play into days. I don't think we can not play into days with this hand. So... It is what it is. Nice. So that didn't. That's still there, which is good. We are currently two and one. We're currently two and one, and um, we are one one in this match. So see how it goes. All right. So they probably have to fetch a volcanic with this, which is good. So they're looking for a bolt for the lackey, uh, and we. I think we're going to snap the wasteland off because I don't want to get true named, because we're pretty. We're on the back foot a bit here, really. What did they do? They... Yep, they have the Chain Lightning. So that goes. We haven't... We've got a bunch of things we can't cast, which is kind of annoying. Maybe I can't Wasteland them. They didn't shuffle, though. And the only way I can beat a true name at the moment... I guess that's not true... Uh, they've got four cards in hand. So, if we get true named here in the Delver flip, so this is going to flip. That's going to happen. This is definitely going to flip because they kept one on. They kept on top. So the Delver's going to flip. If they then follow that up with a true name, I think we just die because we can't do anything in the meantime. Wastelanding and going a turn behind and then just getting dazed out of the game also sucks. Maybe we just can't play around true name Nemesis. They only have like two in the deck. So maybe we just have to hope, because I guess wastelanding. I guess us wastelanding puts us so far behind. Maybe I just have to play the pile driver into the matron, and just this can find like a ringleader or something, and we just have to try and cheese our way through that way. But I don't. I don't know if I can actually. I don't. I think if I wasteland, I can't win. Um, basically, because I think this just flips and we just get ranched. They also just might not have another land. We're at 18, so if it flips, we can take a hit. And they might daze us, and if they daze us, they're not going to true name. All right, we're going to play the pile driver. This might this might get a daze out of them, and if they daze it, then that's probably okay. 
Uh, okay, so now, so if they don't have the days, that's fine, I guess. I just feel like we're gonna get true names, but this can waste the this can waste the true name. Yeah, I think. It's not it's not that I'm worried about I guess they can't snag that which is nice. I'm not worried about trying to cut them off mana for like just wasting them sake. It's just true name nemesis I'm kinda of worried about. Um which we're probably just gonna get true name now. No, Dread Horde. That could have been worse, I guess. They can oh, that's actually not very good still. We are not in a good spot. Yeah, 19 land if it's the stock one. So let's cavern, and I think we're going to have to cast this matron and see what we can find. Um, so this is going to kill something next turn. We're going to take another three. Let's cast this while we can. I just think we're too far on the back foot here. Oh, maybe kill the Delver. That's true. Kill the Delver while we had a chance. That's also true. I mean, we should still be able to kill the Delver next turn. Um, I just kind of want to get something in. Yeah, maybe we should just kill the Delver that turn. Because we're now going to take another three. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, they can just snag the Expert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why I didn't do it. Because they had the snag in hand. I did think about that. Yeah, they have the snag in hand, so we can't do it yet. Um, so I think so. What can we do? So next turn we can cast a munitions expert um, on the Delver. No, Bog Boys gets, gets better, Lozzy Poos. Um, we will come on to that though. Another point. Uh, let me just think what to get. Maybe Sting Scourger, or maybe the Sling Gang. This kind of catches us up. I'm really, really, really not sure what to get here, as you can probably tell. And I'm conscious we'll probably time out. I guess we'll probably just die before then. If we draw a red source, like War Marshal even would be good. I don't think we can race them any in any way. If they find a wasteland, we can't cast. I don't think I can get. I don't think I can get sling gang because they'll just wasteland us off of that. I think I need to get something I can cast, even if we get wastelanded. I kind of want to take the mog war marshal, in all honesty. But that's probably. Oh no, let's just get a crater maker. This is probably the safest thing to get. Let's get a crater maker. Um, so crater maker means that um, we can kill the delver even if they waste us off the cavern. So they'll bolt the pile driver with this, probably. They might just bolt us if they've got a bunch of burn in hand. Um, but the crater maker also means... I don't know, I think this is fine. Yeah, so Bog Boys get some um, Changeling Outcast, replaces Prickly Bogart as a direct replacement. And it's just better, so that's a good improvement. And we get Sling Gang as well. Uh, so... Bog Boys actually gets better, I think. So we'll play. We will play Bog Boys again soon. Um, I'm just working on a new list at the moment, actually. So um, probably not next week, but maybe the week after we might play that. So Crater Maker means we can definitely kill the Delver next turn, um, unless they have a Force of Will. I guess they could still do it through. I guess they could still daze. Brrr. So Red Source would be nice. They've got a sna so they've got Snag in hand, so it's a good job we didn't waste on them. Yeah, so they chain... I assume they chain... I guess they could just chain lightning us, honestly. I could certainly see that happening. They're going to... Okay, they're going to kill the pile driver. That's fine. We've got a, pow, a chain whirler to clean up, which is good. Um, we won't block. So in this turn, we're going to cast the crate... Oh, if we could just draw a red land, that would be good, I guess. If this is, if this is a second red horde, we might be in trouble... 
Yeah. We need. We really need a red land. Mog War Marshal. So I think we kill. I think we kill the Delver this turn. We kill the Delver this turn um, because they can't stop that. Then we can chump block some things. Let's kill the Delver. And then we might be able to set up a Crater Maker to kill something else next turn. And for the time being, I think we will wasteland. Do we really want to wasteland? We need red sources is the problem. It's always the problem with goblins. Um, we can block like this or like a token. They can only really cast Ponder. I'm not sure it's worth wastelanding. I think I'm going to hold the wasteland for now. Because we can't cut them off red. So I just don't think there's any point doing it. And we could draw a matron. And then we could go like matron crater maker or something. I don't know. But um, this turn. We, re we just need to find a red source. This turn, I mean, if we found a, if we found a matron, we could matron for a, for a sharpshooter, not a sharpshooter, a prospector. Okay, so you get to cast a ponder. Um, I'm not going to trade for anything here because I want to keep as many things on the board as possible to play through this vapor snag. I just need to play more quickly. Um, so we'll take three, go to eight. We can't stop them playing a true name, which sucks. They did shuffle, which is good for us. Um, okay, so we're going to untap. That's not for... I guess now we can double waste them. That's more attractive. So I think we're going to just Munitions Expert the Pyromancer, to be honest. Because they can't play around that. And they might Vapor Snag in response, which is fine. I could play the War Marshal and then Crater Maker this. That might be better, actually. I quite like wastelanding them off of two red mana sources, though, now that we've got two. I might do that. Yeah, I think I'm going to wasteland them twice now. Um, so let's see if we can get them to use a bolt or something. This is fine. I mean, if they've got bolts in hand, I think we're just dead anyway. Um, so they've got a snag on the munitions expert. Okay, that's fine. And they're going to bolt twice as well. Oh, we're just dead. If they just got two bolts, we're just dead. Okay, yeah, there's nothing we can do about this. We can't. We literally can't play around bolts. Um, I don't think. Because we, they can just cast that. So we are just dead. Unfortunately. Yeah, we're just dead, so never mind. You never know, they might forget to attack. But unfortunately we could not um we could not uh play around double bolt there. And they hadn't cast the bolt up to that point, just a chain lightning, so yeah, never mind. That was a rough one. Da -da -da dumpster. I don't think we really misplayed that. It was kind of an awkward keep. Um which we sort of thought about, and we just didn't get enough. We just didn't get enough red sources. Our hand, our hand was awkward because we had a we had a fetch land for a basic mountain, and then we had maybe we maybe we should have thought about mulliganing it. To be honest, it's possible I should have mulled it because we had what two munitions experts and a um, chain whirler, and if the lackey got killed, which was highly likely. We weren't going to be able to put any of these into play anyway. So it's just possible that we should have thought about mulliganing that, I guess. Just because it was really awkward to cast anything. Um, but yeah, no, never mind. Alright, thanks very much uh, for the follow, um, Lozzy Poos. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. So that was that was pretty close, I guess. Um, but we, we, could, we had opportunities to win that, I think. I think in the first game of that match, if we'd played tighter rather than playing super loose like we always do, 
I think there's a good chance we could have we could have taken the first game um, with better play there. I really think we could have won the first game. So as usual, it's just kind of probably down to me there rather than anything else. So hopefully we can get the last one. That would be nice. Get another 3-2 would be sweet. Uh, but this will be the last match, I'm afraid. It's a short one today. Um, it is a short one today. I don't have time to fit a second league in, I'm afraid. But as always, if you want to watch... Um, if you'd like to watch the Goblins League from yesterday, um, which was really sweet. The Goblins League yesterday was really good. So that's on my YouTube channel. This one will be on my YouTube channel later. So um, make sure you click that link and have a look. Uh, if you want to hit the follow button stay, see where I go live, it's also good. We just do things for fun around here, so it's not like super, you need to really do anything much. But if you enjoy yourself, then feel free to hang around. Okay, we'll keep this. This is pretty good. Um, we do draw the basic swamp a lot, which is fine. Um, we've got some wastelands to interact with some people that we don't like very much. We've got a lackey to... Okay, so this is Grixis or... I think Death Shadow's dropped off quite a lot. Um... All right. Well, we're gonna. We're not gonna play around wastes. We're not gonna play around days. That's fine. This probably gets, gets bolted. Um, either it gets bolted, this flips and they block it, but then this isn't attacking, so that's fine. And we could just waste them next turn potentially. This. Oh man. Okay. Even as a mediocre de Delver player myself. If you've got one Delver in play, and it's like turn two on the in the first game of the match, I don't think you want to brainstorm in response to the Delver. That just seems like this isn't a good... <laughs> this isn't a good use of a card, I wouldn't have said. Uh, I'm pretty confident saying that, so... Uh, oh, we got a couple of followers coming in, so thanks very much for the follow. Loads of socks, hopefully you're enjoying yourself, that's a really cool name. Um, we are definitely going to Wasteland them next turn now. We'll Wasteland this... Because I really don't. It depends if they attack, I guess. But I don't want to. I don't want to get dread hoarded. So we'll wasteland the volcanic island. Uh, yeah. So they're not going to attack, which is good for us. So thanks for the follow. Loads of socks and Sky Guy six six six. Hopefully you both enjoy yourselves. Thanks for checking us out. Um, that's a good draw. Uh, all right. I'm going to wasteland. They're not going to attack, so this is fine. Don't want to get dread hoarded. Not in a million years. This keeps them off true name as well. Um, and next turn we can just waste them again if they don't do anything, honestly. I'm sure they've got another land, yeah, so that's fine. But I think that's reasonable. I don't want to get um, true named. So this means they've got a Dread Horde. Maybe I shouldn't have wasted them. I don't know. You never know. They did cast two cantrips, I guess. So this is going to be a Dread Horde. I suppose... I suppose. It's not really what we want. Um, so. Um, I kind of just want to play the second lackey and waste the um, underground sea now. Yeah, trading the Delver for the Lackey is fine as well. I think that's a trade that um, they are very happy with. And one that I would also take. I think everybody's happy with that trade. I don't know, it just seems a bit greedy, that's all. Um, Alright, so I don't really want to get Angled. Because that's going to be hard to beat. You'd hit the Volk. Fair enough, we'll just hit the Volk then. Um, but I think we'll Wasteland again. Yeah. So they've got a daze. Oh, they're going to force. Okay, fair enough. That's okay. Um, yeah, okay, that makes sense. That does make more sense. There's more bolts than... And now there's not going to be a bolt in the yard for the Dread Horde. That does make a lot of sense, actually. Surprisingly enough. Weird. Someone in someone in chat's making good points. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is fine. So now we're not taking as much damage. We can play the swamp out. So it'd be really nice to draw a munitions expert this turn. Uh, 
Because then we can kill the Delver. Okay, that's fine. We're not particularly soft to wasteland with this hand, so that's good. Okay, Prospect is a good draw there. Uh, so let's get a basic mountain. And I'm kind of tempted to just prospect to... Uh, I can't do it this turn. Okay, that's fine. I can't prospect to this turn. Um, next turn we can cast the War Chief, though. Oh, no, you want to cast the Matron next turn. You want to cast the Matron next turn to try and find specifically Munitions Expert. Um, is what we want to do. I suppose if we draw a land... I suppose it depends if we draw a land. If we draw a land next turn... Um, this means they might have an Angler. Or maybe they've got a true name. All obviously depends upon what they do. I wouldn't have thought that he'd let us have a lackey hit. Unless they're just trying to close the game out. Maybe they didn't maybe they didn't draw a land and they've got like bolts in hand and whatnot. I don't know. It's weird they didn't cast anything last turn. We do need to kill this. We need to kill both of these, really. This is quite an awkward card for goblins to deal with because it's a one-three, and killing three toughness creatures is not easy. Um, and it also, as of being a one-three, blocks all of these really nicely. So this is pretty rough, honestly, to play against. Um, yeah, Dreadhorde definitely swings the Delver matchup further in the favour of Delver. It's always pretty close, really, but these days Delver's pretty good. Uh, and even with the new tools, like Munitions Expert, I think is better against Delver than Gem Palm. Um, but Dreadhorde definitely is pretty rough. Okay, second Delver. So they're going to have Delver and that's going to flip too. So we'd really like to draw a Munitions Expert. That's not really what we're after. I don't believe that there is a way to um i don't believe that there is a way to play the matron and munitions expert <sighs> maybe there is what could i do how could i do that the problem is that just gets dazed so i could go matron off of another mountain no i'd have to go matron off of one of these guys i'd have to sack the lackey play a matron then I could play a Swamp, sacrifice the Matron, play a Munitions Expert to kill a Delver. Uh, that doesn't seem that good. I could get a Crater Maker, but that costs even more mana. So we're going to take 6 next turn in the air for sure. Then we go to 5, so we're almost dead. Maybe the Wastelands were mistakes. I don't know really. Being on the draw against Delvers is like super rough. Maybe we do just have to try ammunition. I mean, they've probably got a daze in hand. They've cast a bunch of cantrips. Um, I think... So, I mean, the lackey's not... I guess we can attack with the lackey. Let's start by attacking with the lackey and see what happens. Um, that's probably the best place to start. They might, they might take this trade. They also might not if they think they're going to kill us next turn. Okay, so this is good. That's a good place to start. Um, now we're in a better spot to do something else. So I think what we'll do now is probably just cast the Matron and then get something for this. 
And I guess we'll do that off a of swamp for the time being. Um, but we can play around a daze if we need to, because we can sacrifice the prospector, which is fine. Okay, that resolved, which is good. So maybe they don't have any counter magic. Um, but I think we will get a munitions expert. I think that's fine. And then even if they somehow have a Vapor Snag or if they have Red Source removal this turn, um, we can kill this through one bit of interruption. One bit of interaction. So we can kill the Insectile version. They might have a Force as well. They could just have a Force. That's true. So they get to cast their Ponder again, which is pretty good for them. They get tons of value with this card. So we're going to go... We're going to take four. We're going to go to seven... So we just need them not to have a counter spell for the munitions expert. That's the that's the boat we're in. There's not much else we can do about that really. We just have to hope they don't find counter magic for the munitions expert. If they do, we probably just lose. Uh, if they don't, then we might be able to squeak this one out. I don't know. We need them to miss quite hard, and they've cast a lot of cantrips with this dreadhorde arcanist. The other reason this is kind of rough is that we can't just punish it and block it, really, with what we've got, because goblins are often 1-1s. One so they did shuffle. Okay, they did shuffle. The shuffle feels good. They have got six cards at hand, though. All right, please don't have counter magic for the munitions expert. Cavern would be a fantastic draw. Okay, now things feel a bit better. So let's try this first. If they have got a Force of Will, we can still create a make, and we can actually still... Um, okay, nice. So now... The fact that that resolved makes me kind of want to just create a make of the Dreadhorde Arcanist, and then cast the Crater Maker. I guess I don't need to. I guess I can just do this, and then cast the Crater Maker. This is just safer. So let's kill that. Let's get another Mountain. Play the Crater Maker. The, um, I guess the problem here is I'm now dead to a bolt. I guess the problem here is I am now dead to a bolt because I'm at six and this can attack. Um, so that's not the best. Uh, but at least this way I can block and kill this. Um, so we are dead to bolt, which is maybe not the best. And I can't currently kill this. So that, yeah, maybe... Maybe that fetch land wasn't very good. Ponder, desperately trying to find a bolt. They can't attack this turn, though. If they don't find the red mana source this turn, they can't attack. Um, if they do, we're just dead. They did shuffle, though. So they can't attack this turn. That seems pretty aggressive. I guess we are at six. So we'll block with the Crater Maker, and then we will post combat sacrifice the Crater Maker to kill the Dread Horde. They also shuffled again with the Ponder. So we just need to kill them really quick next turn now, which we can do. Okay, they found a seed. So they could just play an angler here, which would be rough. They're going to thought seize us. Okay, that seems fine. So they take the ringleader, I assume. The war chief also means we could win quickly, potentially, especially now they've gone to 13. Um, so we're going to sacrifice the matron. Uh, kill this and go from there. If they've got a true name in hand, we're in trouble. So a wasteland would still be a fine draw here, honestly. Files the possible worst. Oh, could have double blocked. That's a good shout. Yeah, maybe I should have just double blocked. That's a very good point, actually. Um, I could have just double blocked. Yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> so I spent one more 
No, that was the same number of goblins, right? That was the same number of... No, I spent one more goblin than I needed to. Yeah, I could have just double blocked. Yeah, that was silly. That was definitely silly. Yeah, I'd they'd be at eight, which is definitely relevant. So that's fair enough. Yeah, good point. And we'd still have the crater maker. So they'd actually be at seven. And then two, three, four, five, six. They'd almost be dead. So they've got a true name, whatever. We can't do anything about that. So yeah, that might cost us. The fact that we didn't double block. I didn't even think about that, actually. That was just me being daft. It's kind of hard streaming sometimes. You get a bit lost in the rabbit hole. Um, okay, we're just going to die now, which sucks. I didn't actually make any difference. Which is pretty annoying. Um, we have to attack with both of these. That's. F I guess we don't attack with these. We only put them to, s we only put them to eight. I think we just pass. And we have to hope to hit something good this coming turn. I don't think we attack. Because we need, like... We we, we might be able to kill them on the swing back, but um, definitely it's going to be another cantrip for a bolt. Yep. So as things stand, we didn't get punished by not double blocking. So if they find a bolt and kill us this turn, it won't have made any difference. Two, three, four, five, six. But... If they don't kill us this turn, it may well end up making a difference because we might... So say if they attack for three this turn... Uh, I mean, they have to attack, right? Surely they have to attack. Yeah. So... If we draw anything off the top, we would have been able to kill them if we double blocked. So um, let's see what happens. I guess I can just play a Delver out to block. Okay, maybe not then. Maybe it didn't make any difference. We'd be able to kill that. That's true. So, Pile Driver would do it, I think. Two, four, six. Yeah, Pile Driver would do it, I think. Um, that will not do it. Okay, so it didn't make any difference. We didn't get punished from not blocking, but um, we definitely. That was definitely a good shout. So, okay, kind of a rough one there. We just flooded out at the end, which sucks. Uh, but I think we fought our way back in from a rough spot there. So um, that was that was not the worst. That was a pretty close match. A pretty close game even. That was pretty close. Okay, so still not convinced that I want Thorn. I'm going to bring them. I think this is still fine. Um, so we're going to cut two ringleaders, I think, is what we did last time, which I think is fine. And we can cut... Uh, the Sting schedule will leave in this time. And um, we could probably cut, like, one war chief maybe. TNN, yeah, TNN's really fun, Nick. I agree. I think this is fine. The Sting Skirder against True Name is quite important. Pashalik Mons is quite important. Uh, Chieftain could be important. We've got three War Chief effects. We're cutting some two four drops anyway, so cutting a War Chief seems okay. That all seems fine. It's possible that cutting Lackey on the draw... So if we make it to the third game, it's possible we should just cut Lackey because um, Dreadhorde just blocks it. So I guess that's something to consider. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think we can keep this. I don't think we can keep this. Wow. Yeah, we keep doing this. We have, like, close sevens into unkeepable six. So we're just going to get dumpstered on a multiply, which sucks. Uh, so I guess we've got Prospector. Maybe we have to try and hope. We've got... I don't know. Maybe I can't mull from this, actually. We've got a load of two drops and a one drop. I think we're going to keep this. This is super loose, but we're going to keep it. I can't go to... I can't go to five. Put that on the bottom. I'm mean, just going to have to hope we draw lands. Um... And we'll play the Prospector out. We're going to get a basic mountain though. Because um, we need to draw mana sources anyway. So waste, we don't want to lose to just Wasteland. We need to draw mana sources anyway. Uh, if we don't draw mana sources we're not going to win. So we should draw a black source if we're going to win the game basically. I think is a good way to look at it. Um, okay this is not so bad. So if we can draw a land like this coming turn we might be okay. Because we've got a bunch of two drops. We can play a Mogwar Marshal. We should be all fine. And actually, if we draw a land for the Mogwar Marshal, then the Prospector means we should be okay. If only we had the London Mulligan. Alright, so it looks like we're not going to be okay.
they put two cards on top of their library which is terrifying um, is it worth is it worth sacking the prospector now to put the crater maker into play to kill a delver probably not because they probably just play dreadful darkness next turn and that they're not going to daze that but they could force it how do we win this game we need to draw a land like next turn And the Prospector Mogwai, I think we have to pass, because like if we draw a land, we can actually cast the Chain Whirler, because we can cast the Mogwai Marshal off the land, sack all three, and then Chain Whirler, which, is, which puts us in a really good spot. So I think I'm just going to pass. I don't want to get rid of this, because this is basically the key to us winning the game. Um, so I think we're just going to pass another turn and see what happens. Uh, we can't just aggro them out, because we need another land anyway. Um, so if this is a Dread Horde, we can still do this. Okay, we probably can't do this now because they can take the Chain Whirler. Be interested to see what they pick here. Be interested to see what they pick. This is definitely an option, taking the Mogwai Marshal. They might not know how the... They might not be familiar with like this interaction very much, but they might just take this. They might also just take the Crater Maker. This is definitely a very reasonable pick, though. And the Mogwai the Mog Marshal might be a very strong contender for best pick. Because both of these, like this is on, I guess we need to draw exactly a black source for this. And this one is quite slow to answer anything. This is annoying against um, all of their stuff, but we're not casting it yet. This also we're not casting yet. So I'd say it's like between these three. But it depends whether they value, whether they like notice this interaction so much. Okay, so they did take the Mogwai Marshal. Which I think is definitely the correct, I think that's a very, very solid pick. Because it means you can't do this. Yep, and they can ponder. So they got a slow hand. So I wonder if they got true names in hand. Which is rough. Which we can't beat with this hand at all. But I guess probably what will happen is we just won't draw another land next turn. And so I know I'm not playing a 24 land deck. But I don't think... Like this is just bad luck. This happens with any magic deck. Okay, that's a fantastic draw. Um, so now we can do this... This is great. This fixes our mana entirely. So we can do this. Get in for one. Um, and I think I'm just going to play this Crater Maker out before I get Wastelanded. I think, I think I'm just going to do this. I don't want to play the Munitions Expert out. It doesn't do anything. I don't think I want to hold up the munition, Munitions Expert out because it didn't do very much. But this is fine. Um, and now we're at least putting something on the board. So if they've got a slow hand, hopefully they don't have a true name. We might be okay, but... That's super annoying. Yeah. But we got something in play which is good. See, and if we'd held up the munitions expert, it would look pretty silly there. Yeah, no worries. You just cast Thought Seizers. I mean, if they didn't have a bolt, then this isn't the worst. So now they might just take this. They're going to take the munitions expert. Okay, interesting. I guess this is still just really hard to cast. But the, muni the Munitions Expert is equally as hard to cast, I would say. And this Stonewall's a Dreadhorde Arcanist. You're going to bolt the Crater Maker. Okay. So they have a super reactive hand then. Come on, give us a land drop. Okay. So probably get true name this turn, I imagine. It's going to be a dread horde. Okay, fine. So black source would be fantastic here. If we draw a red source, I'm going to just slam this chain whirler. I don't think that's even close. And we do have the bolt in the yard already. So now we're just going to lose because they're going to bolt the prospector and there's nothing we can do. So I think the game is now out of reach. We just bricked off too many turns in a row. I mean, that's a lot of turns to only draw one land, one other land drop, to be honest. We're on turn five. We scryed to the bottom. So we've had five looks, and we've only hit one land, which is way below par. And they had just had, like, double thought season wasteland as well as that. 
there anything we can do here? I don't think so. I mean, we're not dead yet, so they have to bolt the prospector. We're gonna make we're gonna make them kill us. You never know. We could still just if we just draw land, land, land. There's a possibility we could get there. And you never know. They might get greedy and not bolt the prospector. They might just bolt us. Who knows? And they're at thirteen. Like if they bolt this, then we draw a land. We can cast this. Then we might be able to chain world or play the expert. We'll see how it goes. So they're probably gonna okay. They're gonna thought seize. All right. I mean, this is I think I think the thought seize is better for us than the bolt on the prospector. I assume they might take the pile driver now. Yeah. I mean, taking the taking the th take, thought seizing is definitely. There's definitely an argument not to do that. I guess they've just got a handful of dazes, maybe. Or, like, they've got a force of will up there, maybe. If they play a true name, it doesn't really matter. That's pretty scary. We just need to draw land this turn. If we could draw another cavern, that'd be good. Chainwhirler no longer blocks the Dreadhorde, though, which sucks, because they can just bolt. Um, if we draw a black source, what we can do, though, is we can... If he goes to combat and bolts something, we can munitions expert in response. Okay, now we're just dead, I think. I don't think there's a lot we can do at all anymore. Okay, that's a good draw. We can get a... Oh, this is... I just don't think we can beat this. Oh, is there anything we can do? So they can bolt something. I guess we just do what we were going to do. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll pass the turn. I think we need to get a Badlands now because we need to be able to cast this. So... What is going to happen? I guess they could. Th I guess they're probably going to thought seize us, which is going to suck. But what's going to happen here is they're going to attack with both, trigger both of these. Um, in response to the trigger, whatever they target with the bolt, we're going to flash this in, deal two damage to one of them, and then block it with the munitions expert. So they might go thought seize bolt. I guess is a perfectly reasonable thing to do here. All right, they're going to go for, what, Ponder and... Maybe they don't have any more threats. Ponder and Thoughtseize. Interesting. Okay. All right, well, we'll do this now. They might have a Bolt in hand as well, to be honest, which would be pretty rough. I guess they probably just have the Bolt in hand. Oh, crap, I meant to get a bad land. Ah, uh, I did not mean to do that. Now we're going to draw a land next turn, and we're not going to be able to cast this. Damn it. Congratulations. You played. Yeah, they're going to bolt in response, so sure. Okay. Doesn't actually matter because they got electricery. This is super miserable, but it is what it is. I think it, I think that six was fine to keep. You just can't go to five. But honestly, the um, definitely the uh, the London Mulligan cannot come soon enough. It really can't. It's <laughs> it's unbelievably miserable Mulliganing without that. So we're going to draw a red land here. Told you. There we go. Nice. So it wouldn't make any difference anyway because um, like they can just bolt the chain whirler now anyway. Like this, oh, and they've had like maximum punishment too. Like, when you've mulliganed and you're missing land drops, just getting ranched by everything they've... Like, the, I don't know. It's, there's no point in complaining, really. It just is what it is. <laughs> and we could have won We could have won the Delver match earlier, so... It's been a close one, but... Not in this particular game. But, um... Just haven't got the luck of the green, I'm afraid. Well, that at least means if we draw a red source... I mean, they probably just have bolts in hand. They've cast, like, so many cards off these Dreadhorde, off these Dreadhorde Arcanists. The only plus side is these are super slow clocks on their own, so um, there is still a slim, 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 slim chance that we could just draw runner, runner off the top. But they've just cast so many cantrips. Um, this is what the sixth cantrip, the fifth cantrip they've cast, sixth cantrip they've cast. Like it's they 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 can't not have anything. This will be a true name. 
which is just good games because true name sucks so it's an angler so it's good as I guess in this particular spot so what can we really draw here not a lot they've probably just got bolts in hand anyway um, alright I mean that's something we can cast at least at least Pashlik Mons gets to see the light of day <laughs> so that's nice So we can block and kill a Dreadhorde Arcanist this way. They are at 8. Is there any way in hell we can somehow squeak this out? There just isn't, I don't think. Because we're going to take 6 at least. So this is looking for a Bolt for the Pashlik Mons. And we take 5, 6, 7. And then we're just dead this turn. So Bolt and we're dead. Literally just dead. And I've only cast one Bolt, so we're probably dead. Yeah, alright. That's the end of that then. Wow, brutal, savage. That was pretty miserable. Wrecked. There is the problem. Absolutely there is like we did have taken down. the window was slowly closing just because I didn't have any clock straight away. But um, at least yeah, I guess at least on the two three it means we get fifty um, play points back, which is quite nice. So that's not the worst thing that could happen. But um, yeah, so that was um, that was a rough one. That was a rough end to the league, unfortunately. Um, but thanks everyone for hanging around. Hopefully it's not been too laggy the whole time. Um, <laughs> That, that league definitely wasn't as fun as the one yesterday, I think. Um, definitely watch that on YouTube. The one yesterday was fantastic. Um, and honestly, should have been a 5 -0. We played a little bit tighter. We played a bit. We played a little bit loose earlier in this league. Um, but, um, yeah, we just we, we hit some really bad luck, I think. We mulliganed a lot this league, to be honest. Um, like, going from seven, seven card hands that are a bit, bit rough into six land... Sorry, six hand, six card hands with either no lands or like one land. That happened, I think, twice at least. So it is what it is. But no worries. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, I'll be back next week. I think I don't. I'm going to have to do another one this week. But we will play some more um, bad boys next week because this deck is sweet. And we will also play. I think on the. I think the first deck we play next week might be the rug um, Ren six deck because that looks sweet as well. So um, stick around for that. And um, yeah, take it easy.